Hi guys, Take James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the best way to set up your SD to Vita as your main memory card. So I've been um, researching this quite a bit, so hopefully I've got it, um, you know, as simple as possible in this video. Hopefully it is 100% success rate as well. Obviously a few people have some problems, but hopefully they can be fixed easily as well. So this is the SD to Vita that I will be using for this video. I, would, I will recommend you watch my other video on my SD to Vita because you will need to do um, you, you will need to format your SD card correctly before watching this video. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and make sure your PS Vita is fully powered off and then put in your SD to Vita into your PS Vita. Now just go and power on your PS Vita. So because you just powered it on and I'm on 3.68, I'm just going to do the HN Core update real quick. Now I'm just going to open up Vita Shell. Right, so what you want to do from here guys is press start in um, Vita Shell, then go to USB device and make sure this is selected on memory card. And also make sure select button is on USB because I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it via USB instead of FTP. Then what you want to do is press start again, then press select and it will say connect this system to a PC using the USB cable. Alright guys, so once your PS Vita is connected to your PC and it's connected in Vita Shell via the memory card, all you want to do is just go onto it right here and you want to go up to View, Options, um, this is if you're on Windows, and make sure um, this one right here, Hide Protected Operating System Files, make sure this is unticked, then you can just click OK and then you just need to tick the box right here which says Hidden Items and then everything on your PS Vita will display. So then you just want to go to somewhere on your PC, your documents, your downloads folder and what you want to do guys is right click, create a new folder and call it something along the lines of PS Vita Backup. <coughs> So I'm just going to call mine PS Vita Backup 2 because I've actually already got one. But basically what you do guys is just drag, select every single item on your PS Vita, right click, go to copy, then go back to your downloads folder, go to your backup folder and then all you want to do is right click and paste. Now I've already done this but this is what it'll look like, it just transfer all your files. Now keep in mind this could actually take quite a long time, I think in total, it's saying 10 minutes here, I think it took around... 10 to 15 minutes so quite a long time i'm just going to cancel this because as you can see i have already got a backup all right guys so back on the ps vita real quick you can just close off this message then what you want to do is press press start again and you want to select usb device and just scroll along until you get to sd to vita then you want to press start again and then you want to press select and plug in your ps vita back on to your pc Right guys, so now my PS Vita is connected again, but it's connected via SD to Vita in Vita Shell. So basically guys, all you want to do, you will be able to tell um, that it's your um, SD to Vita because of the size. As you can see here, mine is a 16 gigabyte SD card and you can see that it's 14.5, so pretty much 16 gigabyte. But what you can do guys, it will be empty for you. Now I've already copied the files across just because it takes so long. But what you do is go into your PS Vita backup, copy all of these files, right click, copy. Then go on to your SD to Vita and then just do right click and paste. So obviously I'm not going to do it again and I did it before I started recording because I didn't want to uh, you know, make you guys wait because this actually took I think about 20 minutes. It took quite a long time but everything is on here successfully. So now what you can do is disconnect your PS Vita from your PC and I'll show you guys how to swap over to your SD to Vita and not corrupt any files at all. Right guys, so once we're back on our PS Vita, it will probably be in some kind of standby mode because it takes such a long time to copy across those files. So just power it back on and you should be in Vita Shell. So what you want to do now is just completely close out of Vita Shell and go down until you find your TF card plugin tool and then just open it. So 
So because all of our files are copied across, we can now select this option, which is SD to Vita equals UXO and then memory card equals UMAO. So I'm just going to press circle on that. So then going to saying swap the amount of the selected drive, SD to Vita will be your main SD card, or sort of memory card, and then your original PSV to memory card will become the UMAO0. Uh, would you like to proceed? Press circle for yes. It's now going to swap. Operation check. Uh, would you like to reboot device? Press circle for yes. So now your PS Vita is going to reboot. It might come up with this message as well, updating database, just let it do its thing. So go on to your Vita, scroll down till you get to the HN Core update. Start it. Do yes. You then get the uh, colors flash, uh, pink, then white. Then you'll get in this. Now it's always a good idea just to install Henkaku again, so just press X on it. So then going to say success, then going to exit. Now just uh, wait for it to exit. And now that is it guys. So if I open up the uh, Vita shell, uh, press start. Um, if you have a look here on UX0, it says 6 gigabyte out of 14.56 gigabyte. Um, and because I left the files on the UMAO, which is my original PSV to memory card, you can actually completely wipe that now uh, if you want to. And the cool thing of this, guys, is you can just swap over so easily and no corrupted files at all. So I was watching quite a few YouTube videos and people were just corrupting their files. I didn't really understand the point of that. But anyway, this is how you do it without corrupting any files, without, you know, messing about and wasting time. And everything works. Uh, for some reason, there is a please wait. Um option coming up I'm not quite sure maybe that's just like a first time boot let's find out yeah it seems like a first time boot kind of thing so games run um, let me just show you the angry birds so they run without even having to refresh the live arena or anything like that um, let me just try uh, the PSP emulator so yeah that please wait thing that that will go away once you've um, opened every application every application and let me just play one of my games real quick and just check that this is working so it's always a good uh, thing to check that everything works once you swap memory cards um, let's just try a game this one right here as you can see it works I'm not even going to play it because I can just tell it works so let's just quit so yeah guys, that is how you use SD to Vita, um, really simple, without corrupting any files or anything like that. Um, this is pretty much, you know, going to work for you guys if you follow it exactly correctly. If you do corrupt your files, you can always just go over the HN Core tutorial again and you will be able to install it. Uh, you can switch back really easily, as I said earlier, just by using this program. So if you decide you want to use your PS Vita memory card as your main file, you can always just swap back and every um, application seems to work perfectly fine. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.